Walt Disney World updates face mask policy for restaurants to require guests to wear a mask even at their table. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's also read the the the, the title for the next article because they sure go thing. directly together. New signage at Disney uh, Springs parking garage shows face masks that will not that are not permitted. Look. <laughs> On the one <laughs> hand, I get it. Disney is trying to do to comply in every way that they can so that they can open their parks and make money. I get that. Unfortunately, what they're doing is making the park experience not worth it. So yeah. all the masks that you've spent money on may or may not be allowed as masks for the purpose of being able to go to the parks. Well, a couple of them I understood because they one of them had holes in the front. <laughs> you know, but then another one was just one that was like a neck one. You just pull up. I didn't know what the issue yeah. with that one was. But. Well, in other words, it's not enough to just put a cloth over your mouth. It needs to actually filter, you know, viruses, which I understand completely. I think a lot of the masks that people are using, people don't understand. They make you feel better, but they're not actually doing anything. My problem was one of the masks that they're not allowing are the ones with the filters on them. You know, the, the, you know, two filters on either side yeah, so yeah, that air that can, one. air can come in, but you can't blow it out. It has to go out through the filter of the mask. Well, maybe they have investment in a, in a mask company that doesn't make That's, <laughs> that's my concern. In other I'm words, being, you know, buy, okay. buy, buy space balls, the, the, the face mask, but you know, any outside masks is not allowed. We'll sell a you a mask here at, 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 at check-in, but for $30. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, uh, Duloc is a perfect place. No, but that's that's what it is. And yet, they're saying that maybe they'll be phasing out face masks altogether by 2022. Yeah. Uh, that was a comment from Bob Chapek. I wanted to read from that. Mm -hmm. uh, Chapek explained that he expects face masks and social distancing to be in place through 2021. However, he believes that six-foot social distancing and mask wearing in 2022 will not be the same as it is today, depending on the state of the world next year and the distribution of the beer bug vaccines. Okay. I think the biggest thing is that as a business, these parks need to operate within the rules that are set up for them by the state that they're in florida california whatever it's just that's the way business is but now look at what's happening in texas right texas as a state is saying we're lifting our our our, our mask mandates that does not mean that any individual business has to stop wearing masks it doesn't mean you can't wear masks everybody even if a even if a restaurant says Okay, Texas isn't forcing us to wear masks. So we as a business aren't going to force you to wear a mask. That doesn't mean if you come in wearing a mask, you need to leave. You have every right to wear a mask if you so choose. We're just saying you don't have to. There and I go. and I and I think I think that's what Disney's getting at. As long as Florida requires us to have these masks in place, then we are going to. Once they lift it, we may decide to lift the right re regulations. But we will still sell you masks. You can still wear a mask if you choose to. It's entirely up to you. And that's all that anybody really wants. You know, do what you want, but don't force me to have to do this. You know? Right. Well, and we'll, we'll, we'll see if the rest of the country follows suit. Yeah. I think we might. Then maybe... Maybe some place will freeze over, um, but we'll right. see. We'll see what happens. Right, right. 2021 will be an interesting year, but we have another article here. Uh, Walt Disney World cast member gets yelled at and spit on by Disney, quote unquote, guests. It's kind of a sad story here. Should I go ahead and read from it? Let me go see. ahead. But before we do, I do want to point out that yeah. I think these things have gotten ratchet, ratcheted up. But anyone that's ever dealt with the public knows you potentially are putting yourself in a, an abusive situation. Go ahead. Today we have yet another story of a poor cast member being mistreated by a quote-unquote guest who doesn't like the beer bug mandates that allow the parks to stay open. According to the Orlando Sentinel last month, a Disney security guard reminded a guest to put their mask on before walking into the contemporary resort. Mm -hmm. Masks are required in the public areas of the resort hotels. 
After doing their job, reminding the person to wear their mask, the man informed the guard, I am a guest, and then spat on his forehead. God. One cast member offered this comment to the Orlando Sentinel. Yeah, this is going to end. And uh, there, there is never a day when I don't have a story. I cried the first week I started. It was not a good time at all. Imagine going to work every day where people ridicule you. Oh, yeah. okay. So I don't know. I mean, that was, uh, yeah, that, there's no there's no excuse for that behavior. I'm not, uh, yeah. I, you know what, though, security guard, <laughs> the best response I could imagine, you were a guest. <laughs> Oh, pretty much. Yeah. You, I mean, I, I don't know. I would imagine too. I don't know what the story is. You find out who that is. They're probably, they're probably going to get in trouble for that. You know, especially. I, if, I, yeah, yeah. Well, I, and, and I know how security works at, at, at Disney, you know, it, you, you will find yourself suddenly taken backstage and you are uh, escorted out and you are not coming back. And if you are a season holder, your season pass is pulled and um, yeah, that's how Disney handles these things or they they take you to a room and tie you to a chair and then uh uh, uh mini mouse comes in in like an s m outfit or so. I don't know. you <laughs> you laugh but there really are there really is a disney jail you know people oh, really okay. oh yeah people don't realize that but yeah there is you are taken you know out of the park you are put into a, a they may call in local police or they may just escort you out of the park um there are rules and you know they need to protect the other guests as well as their cast and whatnot um that's one thing i do respect disney and the disney parks for is maintaining that kind of order and the way they handle security always have um but yeah look i feel the same way about dealing with police uh local authorities and whatnot you don't have to agree with the law but you do have to at least be respectful of the human being you are dealing with who is just doing their job. Exactly. Yeah. You don't I mean, like it. You are free to leave. The person there may not agree with the mass mandate, but he works for the company. Okay. Right. And that's he's what the company just decided. doing what you, you, he's been told to do. And again, if you don't like that, by all means, take it up with the management. Don't buy the season pass and don't come back to Disney. You have that freedom, but these are the rules. I, I have a buddy that works at, I'm not going to say what business he works at, but it's a, it's a shop and they have a corporate, you know, mandate that you must wear a mask and, you know, look, I, I am just communicating what they say. And if you don't like it, you don't have to shop here, but in order to shop here, this is what you agree to. It's that simple, you know? And, and, and then I, I, I am not Disney's biggest, biggest fan right now, but I do have to be fair. And you don't you don't treat people that way. I, there were times when I've gone to Disney, and I'll even as an adult, I would see you know somebody in that crazy I don't know Winnie the Pooh costume or whatever. And I know those people are suffering in there. And when there were no kids around, I would say, "Look, I don't know who you are. I don't know you know what you're going through, but I can imagine you are making great sacrifices so that we enjoy ourselves. I just want you to know I appreciate it. Thank you, Winnie the Pooh." You know, oh. and I hope that person in there feels a little bit of encouragement as they're, you know, getting a headache from from uh, dehydration and nearly passing out.